Hello, my name's Helen, and today I'm going to show you how to prep and paint a basic wall. Power tools from everywhere. For this job, you will need a stirrer, water-based paint, roller, paintbrush, screwdriver, dust sheet, plastic bags, masking tape, roller tray, the first step is prepping your wall so that you have a smooth and clean surface to work from. The second step is to protect your floor. You can lay dust sheets down. If you don't have dust sheets, you can use bed sheets. There's so many different types of paint on the market, but as a basic rule, use matte emulsion for walls or silk emulsion or gloss for any woodwork. Now I'm gonna show you how to apply paint to your paintbrush. First of all, you'll need to open your tin. These can be a bit tricky, so you can use a screwdriver to prise your lid open. You might find that there's a skin on top of the paint or it just feels a little bit stiff for the paintbrush to go in. So you can give it a stir. I'm using a piece of plastic here. You can use a bit of garden bamboo or a spoon, anything that just breaks open that paint. A little tip you can use to stop too much paint going on your paintbrush is to get a piece of string or an elastic band if you have one Take the string down on either side, bits of masking tape, pull it tightly across, tape it on the other side, and then when you dip your paintbrush in, like this, you can take off the excess over the string. When you start to paint your wall, best practice is to start at the edges and work your way in. So make sure you have enough paint on your brush to begin with and then start off going in a crisscross shape like this to begin with and then move side to side and up and down so you get a smooth and even coverage. For bigger areas you can also use a roller. Rollers give you a smooth finish and you can use them for your interior walls and ceilings. So there are lots of different types of rollers you can use. You can get longer ones such as this or shorter ones. For interior walls and ceilings, go for a shorter nap, which means shorter fibres. Simply push the end over the frame, press it all the way through, and then you're good to go. Your next step is to get the paint in the tray. Use the deeper end of the tray and just simply pour the paint in. Not too much, just as much as you need. So to get enough paint on your roller, you need to dip it in the paint and then simply drag it over the tray like this. Do this several times to ensure that your roller has an even coverage of paint. And then simply work across in a crisscross manner like so and then side to side like so and up and down for a smooth and even coverage. <laughs> Job done. Woo!